known as Africa's Great Lakes. They are some of the largest and deepest bodies of fresh water in the world. Plunging up to a mile deep, Lake Tanganyika is deeper than any of North America's Great Lakes and contains over four quadrillion gallons of water. Its sister lake, Malawi, is the third deepest lake in the world. But Lake Malawi is most famous for its fish. More than a thousand varieties of cichlid are found here and nowhere else on Earth. All are believed to be descended from just a handful of species which have evolved a dazzling array of shapes, colors, and behaviors. The key to this explosion of evolution lies in the cichlid's peculiar breeding behavior. Unlike most fish, which release their eggs into open water, cichlids take great care of their young. Some sandy bottom species build volcano-shaped nests where the male courts his female, then guards her brood until they have grown big enough to look after themselves. Other baby cichlids have a truly bizarre relationship with their mother. When threatened, they take shelter in her mouth. She then carries them around, waiting until the coast is clear before releasing them back into open water. Such intensive parenting means cichlids often stay in one spot throughout their lives forming inbred communities that turn into unique local species. As a result, Lake Malawi has more varieties of cichlid than anywhere else on the planet. The fish are wise to stick to the depths. The lake's rocky shore is dangerous. These African spot-necked otters are skilled at fishing for cichlids. But nightfall brings a more formidable enemy. Pack hunting neander fish up to five feet long behave like sharks, using an electrical sense to home in on life signs of smaller fish hiding among the rocks. It's thought they can even communicate with electrical signals to synchronize their feeding in the dark. For their prey, there's little hope of escape. Life and death struggles play out in the depths of this rift lake. But rise to the surface, and the drama only intensifies. This is the stage for one of the most astonishing spectacles in the natural world.